Alright, what is up you guys, and of course welcome back to a Yu game versus Salamence TV or Matthew. And this time I'm actually going to have the music on. Um, I won't be able to um, get too much, um, uh, what would you say, um, heightened quality for this game. And um, I just actually decided to... Um, to go take the laser route, uh, let's see my opponent's team here. Ooh, we have um, We Sing Drapion, uh, Copperage, um, that um, Apple Tune or something like that, Pokemon, Rapidash, and Yellicent. Overall, this team looks kind of tough on me, and Rapidash actually is the fastest Pokemon on the field, and should be annoying due to that. However, uh, one positive trait is that I think the Omis is quite alright, and um, I think once Rapidash is gone, I should be able to do quite alright. Flag on will struggle as long as Weezing is active, but um, yeah, I think it'll cool. Um, it doesn't have a Pokemon that is grounded, so it makes a ton of sense leading off with Rotom. Because I can just Volt Switch, basically. Um, so that's it. Let's go into the game, of course. Um, what I was going to say is that I'm going to try to do some do some rendering if I, if I can. But um, I will actually not do some... Um, implement some music to this specific record because of the issues I've been facing. I, I, I kind of realize why it struggled and haven't been done so good. But... Um, Mainly due to that issue, I kind of decided to kind of take the laser route and uh, get them as much as good as a performance as possible. Now, Copperage. He's gonna get his easy rocks up. There's really nothing to do about that. Uh, however, I can go for a trick and uh, I can lock him in into whatever he wants to go for. So if he goes to self rock, he's gonna, you know, clearly be locked in here with self rock. Oh, he will go for a heat crash. Uh, which could have been risky for me, but it goes for that play, and um, we're now left towards Rotom, and um, I'm actually just going to Volt Switch, because I know it's going to switch out anyway. Um, so there we go. Having that choice, Scarf, is going to be great. Racing Dreepion. That's alright. It took that quite right, though. I don't want to take a knockoff. Yeah, I'm gonna do this play and um, wishing should be his automatic answer. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to... Um, did he stay in? Huh. Let's see what we went for. No, oh, I'm clearly faster, of course, as we just have that with Weezing. And... Um, <clears throat> thing is here, Flash kind of will do a good chunk on it if I want to go for it. But at the same time, Stealth Rock is kind of alright. It has a lot of Pokemon that can take a potential flash cannon. Um, oh, I'll take the East Round, just go for, for Stealth Rocks. Um, he just decided to stay in. So, Toxic Spikes, maybe? Strange Stream. This should do a good chunk. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it did. Huh, it's a 2 hit KO. I did not expect that. However, we are faster, so I can easily go for that Flash Cannon and get the damage I want on this Pokemon. Dimadome. It's a kind of cool nickname on it. Try 
to switch this up actually. So let me get back some recovery. Let's go to Shaman. This is a Copperage. And um, I am confused. There holds the risk. Um, we do nothing on this Pokemon though. So we have a choice scarf of this guy, and that's that's not a pleasant thing. Should be able to take anything and throw at us though. We have a duty boots, which means that we don't care for um we don't care for the self rock which is good. And it goes to play rough. Taking that with ease. Still cheerful still, so it's it's absolutely a pleasant time. Um and the thing is here, Jellicent is not an easy switch in. Or Fire Lash. Fire Lash is still right. Like, there are good switch ins here, but it's whether or not they're faster. The Rapion could be faster. So bring in Pringles. And I'm pretty sure this Pringle guy is not faster. Because we are invested to be able to survive. Um, um, sorry, to survive the um, Malolic. And there's leftovers, so I'm... Yeah, I'm not scared. It's not even Koba Berry. If it were... Or, or in the, no Koba Berry. Um, basically, I would go for Power Whip if... Um, if we didn't see our leftovers there. But Knockoff is very safe. Could very well knock out Yellicent here. That popped Yellicent. Nice! Nice! Oh, a Cursed Body. Okay. Not Water Absorb, though. That's... You don't see that. But yeah, having <laughs> knockoff locked is not pleasant. Um. <sighs> yeah, that's that's not good. Alright, here's a Rainbow Dash. A Rainbow Dash has high horsepower, sin headbutt. Have a lot of nasty things, really. <sighs> like I don't, I have a psychic switch in, but he can follow that up with high horsepower. Yeah, kid still needs to switch in. Um, if he goes to Soul Stands, you know, more power to him, really. <laughs> yep, there we go. Nice. That's one ballsy move. This is not very good now, is it? I still need a sack play, like there is nothing to it here. Go for the high horsepower, play rough, fine. Easy KO. Um, and my play here is you pretty much bring in Del Mise. Um, Because I am somewhat bulky, right? No, I have no investment. There's gonna be a risk, but maybe I can bait him out? Jesus, did I mess up? Stay in, go for Psycho Card, please take it! Jesus! Alright. <laughs> Alright, we're sending this guy in and Moonblast and hope we take it out. Ah, this is not pretty. 
This is not pretty. Del Mies was kind of a win con here, so that definitely isn't good. A runaway. I think Moonblast is enough. It has to be. Or we lose here and now. Whew. <laughs> Not swept. Great. <laughs> so right, with Del Mies gone, you know, we are we are in a pickle. Barrage is still like a really good switching for him and you know, being scarves is absolutely not helping. Ah, oh, she never lost all me, so self is gonna stay though. Ah, yeah, brings that in again. Yeah, I need to bring this guy back. This is not pretty. Like, losing Del Mies just kind of um, threw me off. Um, goes for Earthquakes, good neutral. And since we know that he is Scarfed, we can just switch out. So, I'm getting to that, like, spot where I'm... Got this charge here. Um, uh, like, really, really thinking about it. <sighs> Please. Oh, good, he sends this guy in. I need this guy like whittle down so Flygon can come in and wrap up. Do I ever even have a poison switch in? No. But his play should be Sludge Bomb here. So I Volt Switch and I'm bringing Omnicrom, who should be able to take a hit. I am being very stressed out here. Like this is this is tough. Defunct, right? Both both passes is off the field. I don't know how I feel about that. But I have the Fire Lash play and it's really gonna use it as our full potential. Right, Weezing is gone. Awesome. Um Right, Roslin. Rapion. His remaining Pokemon is. I mean, Rapion looks alright, right? I don't want to lose Omnicrom as it does fill a void here. But Knockoff should be his play. Bring Rotom. Like, Rotom really isn't helping here. Besides Piveting, it's just a setup bait for... What a nasty mon. There's a knockoff. It could very well... Oh, it didn't do as much damage as I thought it would, but Poison Jab might. So I'm just gonna Volt Switch here. Right, we are faster. Did not expect that actually. Or 
force them jobbers to play, force them jobbers to play, force them jobbers to play. Feels forced to go into Mirage already. Leech life. Did not expect that. Do I just earthquake here? It's my golden opportunity of taking him out. Right, switches out, it's fair. To Granny's recipe. Yep, I need to do this. I have two options, both of them make sense, but it pretty much is based on whether or not he goes for a dragon move or not. So Ripen will activate the very earlier, and there's a Leech Seed. So that's not pleasant. I'm pretty sure Moonblast takes him out from this range. Yeah, I gotta do it. His so is out, probably gonna go to that Scarf variant of the Chairman. And um, I think we'll still do a good chunk. But yeah, we're not ideal spot here. Special Tag is absolutely helping us though. But I need to take a stand whether or not I want to go for Healing Wish now or wait this one out a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure his play is Stealth Rocks. Or if it goes to Heat Crash, it's gonna knock out my Rotom, and now we'll get a free setup with my Flygon. I kinda want that to happen. Play rough. Alright. So he's locked into that. So I can still keep this guy alive. I just got discharge. Still outspeed him, which is kinda good. Get him paralyzed though. No, no we don't. Um Well, another earthquake, I guess. Um, uh, this is turning out to be way tougher than I thought it would. But yeah, his exit, his exit, good. Um, as of right now, he could probably think I'm scarfed. Three minutes left. And the thing is here, Elissa can still take a hit. And I can in theory just lock myself into Moonblast and maybe, maybe win. We'll see what happens. Goes for Apple Acid. Yeah, so next time that will knock me out. Yeah, move less to play. Please, please die. Ooh, it took it like a champ.
Oh, Jesus, look at that. Look at that, okay. That was... That was not very good now, was it? Yeah, we bring the Omnicrom here and Fire Lash him. At least like that I will him down more than his Apple Acid will whittle down me. Sent the scorch came through here. This was this could turn really ugly. So the question is: Are faster and Drapion? Highly unlikely. And we cannot take a knockoff. So it comes down through wire. It comes down through earthquake from flying on, which absolutely will win me the game at least. Oh, this was this was tough though. Good job on Salman's TV, really. This was he pushed it to the absolute limit. And we, you know, basically win on the last possible turn of this game. So good job Salman. Really, really good job on you. Um Did I do any misplay? Possibly. But getting that um absolutely getting um Copperosh um, tricked in the beginning was probably my biggest perk this game, uh, hands down. Um, it honestly was. Besides that, um, Yellow Sand going down early was really good. But um, if I go in, like, really thinking about this, I should healing wished with my Guard War just way earlier to get my Send the Scorch back in games. You guys saw. It clearly was the best Pokemon this game because of its defensive merits. And I think I held Guard War a bit too highly for for my well for how good it was. It definitely should have gone gone away much earlier. Anyway, GG Elements, really good game. Hope you guys who watched this game did enjoy it. Uh, leave a like. If you are subscribed, do that I guess. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.